Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here on the floor of Java One talking to members of the Java community. I've got Ola Kavaski with me. Did I, I totally ruined your name. Tell me how to pronounce your name. Ola Kostukovsky. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you said, right? Yeah, what he said. So he's our uh, architect that does all sorts of cool things with Java Embedded. And you have a rocking demo here. So will you explain it to me? Yeah, absolutely. We're very proud of the demo. A lot of work went into it. Uh, so what we built is a live demo, counting people going in and out of a number of different um, locations within Oracle, Open World, and Java One. Uh, we have our biggest venue uh, at this event, um, the Hall D, which uh, at Moscone, where all the keynotes taking place, both Java One and Oracle Open World, all wired up, counting people going in and out. Let me quickly show you a couple of devices that we're using. This is a device built by our partner, a company called Eurotech. Uh, this is people counter device. It is essentially a stereoscopic camera that allows to track people uh, as a shape, as a blobs. So ah, there's no okay. there's no facial recognition, there is no uh, uh, there is no detection of race, gender. Uh, we are only tracking shapes and we're tracking a direction of movement. So it's, it, because it's stereoscopic, it takes picture in 3D so we can detect vector of movement. So that it results in our ability to detect how many people going in and out and what directions they're going. So this device is um, connected to the gateway. This is where all the smarts are. This is a runs embedded Java, uh, and it runs a software that connects, pulls the data from the from the people counter devices, consolidates it, and pushes it up in the cloud. Oh, cool. Okay, uh, interesting. So uh, up in the cloud, we are running a Java-based um, application environment that analyzes data. It's a, a based on Oracle event processing and based on Oracle uh, business intelligence software. So we're a capable to process the data and extract intelligence. Well, let me give you an example of the type of intelligence that we're extracting. Um, we're capable to um, uh, take a specific period of time, window of time, and detect in what direction are people going? What's the trend? Are more people coming in or facility or leaving? Uh, and we can map it over time. We can track a, uh, we can compare uh, occupancy level of different locations with a um, configure capacity, uh, you know, how many seats are in a room. But we also can compare to maximum allowed capacity, uh, something the fire marshal regulation dictates or something number which cannot be exceeded in a specific location and generate alarms if numbers approaches uh, a, a predefined limit. Uh, we can, for instance, in a, we, we monitor a registration room down there in the Hilton uh, ground level where people are registering for Java One. And it has two doors, exit and entrance. And I see a flow of people designed in such a way that, that they're supposed to enter through one door and exit through another. And we're capable of monitoring uh, in what direction are people flowing. And if it is not what organizers intended to do, they can detect this and take action, put signage, deploy additional resources to to optimize people flow so it's all extracting out of out of the people count information and here on the screen we have a dashboard that gives visualization of all this information so or what are I have right now and it's it's all coming real time so what what what, what we have right now is a main dashboard that shows the real-time information it's a right now there's a keynote going on in whole D and we have a uh, close to 5,000 people, about 50% capacity. Um, and we can see that right now there is a, a cloud keynote ongoing, Microsoft and Oracle partners in the enterprise cloud. So we can look at the real-time information. We can go and look at the historical data. Um, uh, we can see trends. We can see over, over time, we can pick one of the days of the event specific location and can see how um, uh, occupants of this uh, location change. So we see there was event in the morning that picked out at about 2,500 2, 2, people and holding in Moscone. Then it went down uh, to a couple of hundred and as a keynote started around one o'clock this afternoon, we see spike and it's still ongoing and we are, as I mentioned, at around five and a half thousand people right now.
So this is all data collected live from the devices, installed at the doors, entering to the different venues. Um, what I just mentioned a minute ago, we can we are monitoring uh, Java One registration hall, and uh, we see all the spikes, how attendance, how uh, how many people registered over time, and we can see right here in the table on the on the right, we can see a directional patterns through exit and entrances and see how they're complying with internal people flow. Wow. So right now we see that it's actually all working out well. More people are coming in through the entrance and exiting through the exits. But being a Java one and you know knowing all the geeks around they, and they, they a, a, a inherited inability to comply with the rules. <laughs> we, we see yeah, there's, we know there's, people, right? there's always a couple of outliers who are who are uh, bucking the trend and actually exiting through the entrance and, and, and entering through the exit. But that's okay, it's, it's actually proof that, that our model working and we are really getting live data. Wow, that's really cool, Oleg. And so this is an end-to-end -end application from the sensors up to the cloud to the wonderful UI is all Java, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, it's all Java across the board from a small, very small devices back to the, all the way to the enterprise. Uh, so it's a, our proof of concept uh, of the real life M2M application live running here at the, uh, the, uh, during the event. Wow, thank you very much. It's so cool to see My this. It's a good time Tori. to spend time with you. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.